Born into civil war in Liberia, Sam Okuanu's life started with adversity, but little did he know overcoming this early obstacle would pave the way for his NFL career. That kicked off in a big way this year with him recording a sack and most recently going off against the Patriots. So in this video, I want to break down Okuanu's film on the year as well as his career up to this point to really get a good understanding of the type of player San Francisco has. Starting out immediately for Okuanu, on his first snap of this Patriots game, he made his presence felt thanks to his athleticism. On this play for instance, the Patriots have a plan to kick him out with this guard, but because he gets up the field so quickly, he's able to get in the backfield and then punches this ball out. Another play that really exemplifies his athleticism is here where the Patriots are trying to down block on him with this wide receiver, but before the wide receiver can even get to him, he's in the backfield blowing up this play. Alongside Okuanu's first step in speed he possesses, he shows off great strength, specifically on this play where the Patriots are trying to kick him out with two men, but he's able to set the edge, which ultimately leads D. Winters to getting this tackle. Another aspect of his game I was pleasantly surprised with was his ability to read where the ball carrier is going and then shedding his block. In this example for instance, he meets this tight end in the hole and he's reading the ball carrier the entire way and as soon as he sees him cut it back inside, he throws off this tight end and then gets the tackle. Regardless of how impressive his run fits are though, I would argue he's actually better at getting to the quarterback. On this quarterback hit on Jacoby Bursett for instance, he's able to challenge this tackle with his speed to the outside and as soon as he commits there, he shoots back inside with this double hand swipe and while he didn't get the sack on this play, he still hit Bursette which will speed up his timing throughout this game. What maybe was most impressive is the variety of ways he showed he could beat tackles as well. On this pressure on Jacoby Bursette for instance, Okuanu flashes his hands at this tackle which makes him hesitate just enough to allow him to get inside his chest and then finally turn his shoulder. Another solid pass rush move Okuanu has in his arsenal is the bull rush and it's surprising just how powerful he is. And on this example, he does a perfect job of setting it up. Once again, he's shooting outside and as soon as he sees this tackle's feet become this narrow, he knows he has a bull rush he can pull out. So he does just that and drives this tackle all the way into Bursette's lap. So even though his sole sack on the year came on this give me, I do think he's positioned to have a lot more. It's not like he's getting lucky out there. But the positive for Okuanu don't stop there. He can also play defensive tackle, which is even more vital with a guy like Javon Hargrave out. And you can see how his first step in athleticism makes it nearly impossible for guards to block him. Here he's able to quickly get by 75 and blow up this third and one, ultimately leading to the turnover on down shortly after. So overall, based on Okuanu's film, the sky is the limit, which is more so the case when you dive into his life up to this point. As I mentioned, Okuanu was born in Liberia in 1998, and shortly after his birth, Liberia's second civil war broke out which killed over 250,000 people and displaced over a million, with one of those being Samuel Okuanu that immigrated to the United States when he was 12. But he didn't step foot on the football field until his senior year at Lowell High School in Massachusetts. But after one season that saw Okuanu only registered 20 tackles, he didn't make it on any recruiting boards. So in hopes of receiving a D1 offer, Okuanu attended Misabi Community College in Virginia, where he immediately made his presence felt, registering 17 and a half sacks, which tied for the most in the nation. So after the solo season at Misabi, he entered the transfer portal and was re-ranked as a 3-star recruit according to 24-7 Sports, with Okuanu ultimately committing to Maryland. And from 2019 to 2021, he recorded 103 tackles, 14.5 tackles for loss, and 7.5 sacks, with his best year coming as senior year, where he registered 8.5 tackles for loss and 6 sacks. Samuel then decided to enter the 2022 NFL Draft, and while he wasn't invited to the Combine, at his pro day, he put up minus boggling numbers. He came in at 6'1", weighing 290 pounds, and ran his 40-yard dash in 4.7 seconds, and he also put up the bench press 31 times which would be the most of any defensive tackle in this class. So while Okuanu wasn't completely refined entering the NFL, as he only played 5 years of football previously, he still had all the measurables to be successful. But due to his lack of refinement, he went undrafted with the Tennessee Titans signing him shortly after. And during his time with the Titans, he had 11 tackles and half a sack. And while Okuanu wasn't terrible with the Titans, it appears he truly found his home with San Francisco. 
Not only is he in a system that can take advantage of his raw athleticism, he also has one of the best defensive line coaches across the NFL in Chris Kisarek. He's also just 26 and can draw on the likes of Bosa and Floyd this year. So headed forward, I do expect Okuanu to continue to develop as a player and have his role expanded with this team, but these are just my thoughts on him and I'd like to hear your thoughts down below. It would also mean a ton if you could like and subscribe, and as always, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.